Meantime, we've told you about a blood test that could tell you if you've already been exposed to COVID-19. It's not yet available for people like you and me, but Beaumont Hospital announced it will be available for its own employees. It's part of a major study just announced today. Our Ross Jones is live tonight with much more on this. Ross? Carolyn, good evening. It is believed that somewhere between 25 and 50% of people infected with COVID have no symptoms at all. Tonight, this Beaumont study is hoping to find out who some of those people are. What does it mean to have been exposed to this virus? What fundamentally, what does exposure mean? And, and is there immunity? And, and what exactly um, does immunity mean? Starting tomorrow, Beaumont Hospital will begin conducting blood tests of its own employees and patients. It's part of a study of COVID-19 antibodies and is the largest of its kind in the country. This is really going to be the first effort to use it on a very large group um, of individuals to see if they've been exposed to COVID. Dr. Matthew Sims is the principal investigator for the study and is Beaumont's director of infectious diseases and research. The study aims to find out who's developed immunity to the virus, whether having COVID-19 prevents you from getting it again, and how many people had the disease but never developed symptoms. How long do the antibodies last? How strong an antibody reaction do you get? Because all of these things will tie into whether or not a vaccine might work and how hard it will be to generate a vaccine. The test right now is only available to Beaumont healthcare workers and patients. Beaumont says all of its 38,000 employees are eligible to participate and says they expect at least 30,000 will. The stress that the people who are on the front line are undergoing, I mean, they're putting their lives at risk every day to care for these patients. And, and I want to say every one of them are heroes. Now, Beaumont says that this study will go on for many months, in part because they're trying to determine just how long this immunity lasts to COVID. Does it last just a few months or forever? We're in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Ross, thank you.